Curtis, licensed clinical mental health counselor and professor of counseling, wanted to talk about some common psychometric analyses that are used to determine the validity and reliability of a test so that we can determine if this is helpful to use with clients or um, also in research. One of the first ones that you often see reported when people are trying to validate tests is convergent validity to determine if two like tests measure or, or correlate positively. So for instance, you give a sample two different tests. One's measuring generalized anxiety, the other measures uh, social anxiety. We would probably expect a positive correlation between those two anxiety measures. Divergent validity is looking to see if we have a negative correlation in the manner that we would expect with tests. And what I mean by that, for instance, here is if we were to measure trait, which is innate anxiety, uh, would that correlate negatively with a trait calmness scale? So we give one sample a, a, a test measuring anxiety the other, and that same sample one measuring calmness. We would expect a negative correlation between these two tests. Predictive validity, an example of this are ACT and SAT scores, we know are part of the equation that help predict first semester GPA. Now there's other variables that help predict that and one of those would be high school GPA. And then internal consistency is a reliability indicator, and what that's looking at is on a multi-item assessment that's measuring, you know, one test that's measuring different domains such as depression, anxiety, and happiness. Um, and I'm thinking of things such as like, you know, an MMPI or a brief symptom checklist, although happiness not necessarily overtly rated, uh, but you might also see psychopathy and psychosis and other, other domains. And what we're looking at is, there, is there consistency among the responses? So this is given to a sample, hopefully a large, diverse sample, just one test administration. And then we would see, do people score as we would expect them to on this test? For instance, if, if uh, the sample, we were seeing high scores on depression, we would, we would expect to see lower scores on the happiness uh, domain. So the questions that were measuring happiness, we would expect lower scores. All right, so I hope this helps with kind of clarifying some of this related to validity and reliability of uh, tests and assessments. Talk to you soon. Let me know any comments you have, and thanks for the good work you're doing.